going to be looking at nuclear binding energy. But first we're going to look at Einstein's most famous equation, which is E equals mc squared, which is known as the mass energy equation. Well, we're going to look at it in this form, where we have the change in energy is equal to a change in mass times by speed of light squared. What this equation is showing is that mass is a form of energy. So you can convert mass into energy, and you can also convert energy into mass. If we look at the constituents of the helium nucleus, which is two protons and two neutrons, the mass of the protons and neutrons inside the helium nucleus equals this, whereas the mass of the separated individual nucleons equals this. So what you can see is the mass of the nucleons when separated is greater than the mass of the nucleons when they're combined inside the nucleus. So this difference is mass is known as a mass defect. The energy equivalent of this mass defect is called nuclear binding energy and it's given from Einstein's mass energy equation. So the binding energy is equal to the mass defect multiplied by speed of light squared. This binding energy represents the energy that is released when nucleons bind together, or it is the energy that is needed to separate the nucleons from the nucleus. And it is the result of the strong nuclear force which acts to bind the nucleons. And that is why energy has to be supplied to remove a nucleon from the nucleus in order to overcome the strong nuclear force. So in order to bind the nucleons inside the nucleus, there is a loss of mass, which means mass has converted into energy. So energy is being released. And that is because the strong nuclear force takes over to bind the nucleons. But if we want to separate out the nucleons from the nucleus, then there must be a gain in mass. So that means we've supplied energy. So energy has converted into mass. And we have to supply energy to overcome the strong nuclear force that binds the nucleons together. And the energy that is released in order to bind the nucleons inside the nucleus are the energy that is supplied or added in order to separate out the nucleons from the nucleus is our nuclear binding energy. This graph is showing you the binding energy in MEVs against the nucleon number. So you can see at the beginning it's directly proportional and then you need less binding energy for every nucleon that's added to the nucleus. This graph shows you the binding energy per nucleon against nucleon number. The binding energy per nucleon is the binding energy divided by the nucleon number and so it represents the average energy that is released to add each nucleon to the nucleus or it's the average energy needed to separate each nucleon from the nucleus. So if we consider nucleus which had two nucleons and we can see from the graph the binding energy per nucleon is 
approximately equal to minus 1 MeVs. So the total binding energy will equal the binding energy per nucleon multiplied by the number of nucleons. So the binding energy will equal minus 2 MeVs. Iron 56 has the largest binding energy per nucleon. So that means its nucleus is the most tightly bound. And that's because it needs, on average, the greatest energy to separate each nucleon from the nucleus.